There are some locations on Earth that will leave you breathless, spellbound with admiration. There are however some that will leave you speechless simply because they are so weird. But whenever and wherever such locations are discovered, speculations of extraterrestrial participation are never far behind. For better or worse, it's a fallback explanation that certain regions can't seem to shake. Hello and welcome to Z. And today we're going to look at four ancient places that have always been related to aliens. Do you require answers to the major questions? Then why not subscribe to Z for more videos like this one and ring the bell for more thought-provoking information. In this video, we'll visit some well-known landmarks. What they all have in common is that some believe they were built by aliens. These are contested and divisive theories, and we'll look at why, while also disclosing what's truly happening at these sites. First, the Nazca Lines in Peru's Nazca Desert, 250 miles south of Lima, are considerably better seen from above. It's a 19-square-mile patch of Earth's surface that appears to be carved up into crisscrossing lines and complicated forms. Shallow grooves etched into the dry dirt, ranging in width from 1 to 6 feet, can be found on the ground. When you move to higher elevation or get in an airplane, these indentations quickly coalesce to form larger, recognized pictures. The spider, condor, giant, and monkey are among the most well-known. So how did they get there and what do they represent? The alien explanation is most famously associated with the Swiss writer Eric von Daniken, whose best-known book Chariots of the Gods was released in 1968. Von Daniken has alternately proposed that the Nazca lines represent landing strips for incoming alien craft. Extraterrestrial beings appeared in Nazca at some point in the distant past, etched the ground into recognizable images and symbols, and then left, presumably with a spaceship full of earthly riches. According to the idea, these aliens were humanoid and possibly shimmering, godlike as they descended. However, scientific evidence does not support Von Daniken's claims. Instead, various investigations and decades of data collection have led to the prevailing consensus that the lines were created by an ancient group of plain old human humans. They are considered to have been created between 500 BCE and 500 AD, or approximately 1,500 years ago. Because the Nazca region is so consistently arid and constant in terms of climate, they've remained as they are. Their mission, on the other hand, remains a mystery. The most widely cited and supported theories are that they may have held some kind of spiritual, religious, or ceremonial significance, that those who built them may have viewed them as a way to connect with their perceived gods, albeit of the non-alien variety, or, most simply, that the Nazca lines are built for the collection and irrigation of water, laid out in that manner for practical and decorative purposes all at the same time. It's a long journey from Peru to the United Kingdom, but there's one iconic location that has long sparked similar speculation, Stonehenge. These are undoubtedly the most iconic chunks of rock on the globe, set in a circular configuration and a must-see pilgrimage site for anybody interested in ancient archaeology or the summer and winter solstices. But why are they there again, and how did Stonehenge come to be? For a long time, aliens were portrayed as an important aspect of the plot. The long-standing mystery is that many of the stones of Stonehenge originated 150 miles away in Pembrokeshire, Wales. So how did they end up where they did? Eric von Daniken was once again among the first to speculate that, well, aliens did it. The theory of a race of earthly giants moving the stones has gained popularity in recent years. Again, neither theory is supported by mainstream science. However, there is still some disagreement over what exactly happened. In 2019, new research claimed to have pinpointed the exact location in Wales where the stones were most likely quarried. Meanwhile, several Neolithic building and transit procedures, particularly since the 1990s, have been demonstrated to be possible, including moving the stones on a wagon or sleigh that is then slid over a purpose-built track slathered in animal fat. 
It wasn't flashy, but it was doable and all without an extraterrestrial overlord keeping an eye on things and cracking the whip. Of course, another reason why sites like Stonehenge are so intriguing is because they are not entirely unique. Various megalithic constructions and monuments have been unearthed and excavated all over the world. However, one such site stands out above the rest, the Moai statues on Rapa Nui, often known as Easter Island. These intriguing creatures stare across their solitary home, capturing the attention of the entire world. But what is their backstory? The age of the statues is the key area of controversy here, and the first site where so-called ancient alienists argue. Most archaeologists believe they were created between 1250 and 1500 years ago, up to 750 years ago. However, not everyone agrees, with alternative hypotheses claiming that the materials used are much, much older and that some of the figures go far deeper into the ground than the accepted time frame allows. Many of the statues have visible carvings, which some analysts believe indicates that their design was led by a higher power. For those who assert alien, the Moai were not just the creation of individuals who lived on Rapa Nui, but were also inspired and affected by some sort of supernatural combined force. Once again, science and academics are nearly utterly at odds. There are around 900 Moai in all and the number is expanding with fresh discoveries being discovered all the time. Non-native Europeans first saw them in 1722, when a Dutch ship anchored for a week. Various more foreign cultures visited over the next century or two, bringing huge difficulties such as sickness and enslavement, as well as mass conversion of indigenous peoples to Roman Catholicism. The statues have deteriorated over time, but the general consensus is that they were built around 1250. Meanwhile, it is believed that the statues were more simply created as memorials to deceased ancestors and sacred sites. There is no need for aliens. Finally, while all of the locations depicted in this film are readily identifiable, perhaps nothing beats the Great Pyramid. It was built around 2600 BCE to be Pharaoh Khufu's tomb and is also known as the Pyramid of Khufu. It is both the oldest and the best preserved of the seven wonders of the ancient world. So whoever built it all those years ago certainly did a fantastic job. Nonetheless, questions about its origin have been raised for decades. The Great Pyramid, according to some like Eric von Daniken, had to have been built by aliens. Its construction is too exact, too robust, and just too impossible to believe. There's also the long-debated theory that the pyramid, and the two on each side of it, were built in precisely the exact places to perfectly coincide with the three stars of Orion's belt, a theory most strongly linked with Egypt-born Belgian writer Robert Bovel. However, many of the most outlandish theories concerning the pyramid have since been discredited, or more scientifically acceptable concepts have come to the fore. For decades, it was unclear how the pyramid could have been built, but we now know that it would have been possible with rope and pulley systems. We also know, according to excavation work in the vicinity, that a worker's town of up to 40,000 people was erected to house the requisite labor without the use of extraterrestrial tractor beams. Researchers are also certain that the blocks of stone needed for the pyramid came from a nearby and abandoned quarry, which was discovered in 2017. The Great Pyramid, like the Nazca Lines, Stonehenge, and the Moai, still holds many secrets, although the alien claims appear to be weakening with current research. In general, there is a larger problem at stake for those who oppose the claim that these sites were created by an alien entity. Except for Stonehenge, practically all ancient constructions attributed to extraterrestrials are found in non-Western nations and were erected by non-Western societies. The implication is that there may be a racist subtext whenever an old site is dismissed as the work of aliens simply because its discoverers can't figure it out. What are your thoughts on this issue? Tell us in the comments. Also, what are your thoughts on the architecture and monuments included in this video? Have you been to any of these and what did you think of them? 
because despite there are many more acknowledged and legitimate scientific explanations for all of them, those four ancient locations are invariably associated with aliens. What are your thoughts? Is there anything we left out? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date on our latest content.